We are in the midst of a crisis. The opioid epidemic, it's everywhere. The World Health Organization has declared coronavirus a public health emergency. Interesting times, challenging times for most people, whether you're you're in recovery or not in recovery, whether you have addiction or don't have addiction. These are stressful times and stress impacts people in a lot of different ways. And substance use is, is one. This is the most restrictive measure we have seen in our area yet. Durham Mayor Steve Shule tells us the stay at home order is coming tomorrow morning. But folks that we serve tend to you know, be you know, more vulnerable to homelessness because they've come out of homelessness. At the same time, you got people living together who have been asked to you know, not have contact with people from the community. And then another thing that's kind of a unique um, kind of variable in this is the stimulus check. And so the stimulus check can create an obstacle to somebody who may be using and thinking about getting help, but now having gotten a stimulus check, it, that's going to fuel kind of continued use and prolong getting access to services. You know, like pre-COVID, people have kind of referred to people's tax returns and, you know, they say rapid refund check and people with addiction and recovery start calling it rapid relapse check. You know, a few years ago, we saw an individual get their tax return, you know, and that prompted them to leave on a Thursday and on Saturday, they had died from an overdose. You know, when COVID-19 hit everyone, it hit everyone. The first month of COVID, I blew through a lot of my savings um, to for food, um, for other stuff that I needed. You know, I wasn't working at all. We had a son that now we were on a budget and we didn't plan to pay rent for him to lose his job. He didn't plan for it either. Without money, I literally didn't know what to do. I was calling my parents every day, like freaking out, like I'm broke. Business wound in my lap that just, that I needed to do to like, this could bring income into our family. So I actually had to step away for a little bit to be able to support my family. So without having to um, feel guilty about time away from the school. This is affecting a lot of different aspects of life. You know, the schools were never meant to run 100% on distance learning, but now it looks like that will be the only way kids learn for the rest of this academic year. Just walking by faith because of where, what to do next, you know? And being okay with myself to just step away for a little bit, kind of regroup.